So now we have our repair completed. We have placed our coolant in. This is Dexacool. And we also have to bleed the coolant system. So you're going to have to open this little bleeder right here with an 8 millimeter socket and then just turn it open a little and get all the air bubble out of the engine. You see that? All that foam? That's the air bubble. And you're going to let that happen until you have water coming out of there. But you're going to have to keep adding water here. So you're going to need a thermostat so your fan is on. So you're going to place a funnel in there. You're going to add water or antifreeze. You see now, you see, see how the water is spitting out? Trying to get all the air pockets out of the cooling system. Now the engine is still cool. Remember we start the engine up from cold so it's not you should get all that air bubble out of there and water starts flowing out, then you can shut it down. I mean just shut the bleeder down. Then you place your radiator cap on. Let the system run. If your car has a temperature gauge, you'll keep an eye on the temperature gauge. It should not go above the centerpiece right there. That's, uh, that's about 220 degrees, 210. So once it gets up to that temperature, we're going to shut it down. I let it cool off. Now when it cool off, you're gonna come back over here to the bleeder when it's cool, when the engine is cool. And you're gonna open the bleeder again. And then you're gonna come here and open the radiator cap and you're gonna add coolant if it's necessary. You're gonna start the car up again, go through the same procedure. Make sure all the air bubble comes out from, like you saw before. Then you will shut this down. Place your cap on. And that's it, that's how you bleed the cooling system.